a lot of folks in the uh, model engineering hobby uh, loathe the use of socketed cap screws since they're uh, not very authentic if you're trying to do a true scale model. However, uh, they are relatively inexpensive and easily accessible, uh, much more so than model bolts and nuts. So <clears throat> here's a way to make a socketed cap screw look um, pretty much like a hex head bolt. Uh, it's a fairly, there, there are I'm sure more precise and um, a better methods but this one's pretty fast and works pretty well. You can see I've got a uh, Allen wrench chucked into this little uh, Palmgren vise and uh, <clears throat> I've got a uh, socketed cap screw here that uh, I've just st stuck on the end of the Allen wrench. I'm going to use the Allen wrench as an indexing mechanism and grind uh, flats on the outside edge of the head. Uh, this is done more by feel than anything, so as I said, it's not real accurate, but if you're careful, you get a feel for it, and it can turn out pretty well. So I'm going to zoom in and turn on the grinder, and hopefully something won't uh, go awry here in this little setup, which is pretty close. So uh, here we go. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. All right. So <clears throat> I'm going to turn on the grinder. <laughs> in the water, it's getting kind of hot. Alright, so there we're done. Now I will uh, simply round off the top a little bit by very lightly touching it to the sandpaper as I turn it. And the same on the bottom. You want to keep your fingers away from that belt because it'll take off a fair amount of skin pretty quick if you're not careful. And there it is. That's uh, not too bad. And if you want, you can always uh, fill in the uh, hex socket at the top with um, JB Weld or whatever you feel like. Or you can leave it open. Most people probably won't even notice. Uh, that's how it's done. Thanks for watching. Bye.